Yeah, I know, I know. Last time was a little bit short. Still me. Still there, Tebbers. We're still in Vogelsberg. This is it. This is the final episode. I have a flying semi-truck, apparently, because it just flew. Ooh. Whoops, don't go too fast there. You're going to crash. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing this episode? Well, we got uh, a field to go. We got that field over there to go. We have all of the Bibles. They're all done. We have all the fields. We have a lot of silage. We got a lot of slurry. We got no potatoes. And we have $110,000, which is all good stuff. We also have 100 cows, I think. Yeah, I think that's what I end up with, 100 cows. Let's look. They might not even have any food right now. Well, they have a little bit of food, barely any food. Uh, yeah, got a hundred cows. All right, so what are we going to do? Well, we're going to sort of prep. We're going to prep the greenhouse. So I'm going to put some uh, manure in there so that they come back to life. Uh, yeah, just in case we'll park here. And what else? Well, there's a couple things that are going to, well, one, you guys get to decide on. And that is, do you want this saved game? Do you want this saved game? I will save it in this particular position. I won't include the mods. I'll just give you the saved game file. You'll have to get the mods yourself, which is really easy because there's a list of the videos where I did the mods and you can get the links from there. So do you guys want me to package this saved game up and drop it somewhere for you. Hmm. Hmm. You'll have to let me know. I promise it'll be quicker than the other thing that I'm going to talk about here in a moment. <laughs> oh my gosh, hurry up, you stupid harvester. Wow. It takes forever. All right, where is use? Use guy. So we have all the fields. We've got all the Bibles. We've got a lot of slurry, some cows, no sheeps, because we don't like sheeps. We got that stupid rooster because I keep trying to run it over and it keeps dodging. It's a really fast rooster. It's like a ninja rooster, I think. Go. And uh, 112,000 plus, because that course will still go up there's still plenty of scoops silage there it's like Kellogg's Raisin brand only not there's some slurry which is a struggle sometimes to get that slurry tanker to unload properly but whatevs whatevs okay. all right do I want to use you right now no I don't thought about it changed my mind what are you doing Go away. Silly man driving in circles. Where? <laughs> he's driving in circles because he doesn't know where he's going next. I don't know where I'm going next. All right. Fold fast, little folding thing. Faster than that, please. Thank you. I'm just going to have to unfold you in a moment, but I'd really like to get up this road without causing an accident. Hmm. Can't believe I paid. Whoa. A half million dollars for them to repave the road, and they did a crappy job of it, too. That's so annoying. So very annoying. All right. Unfurl the thing I just furled up. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. I'm gonna... Fold that down, please. Wow, you take forever. You done? Good. Let's go. Where are we? There we are. I'll probably do this one by myself because this is a quick little field. Ugh, it's a lot of corn. Some of you suggested, oh my goodness, you need to get that big John Deere header and put it on here. Yeah, 
I would suggest that's a probably a really wise idea on some of these fields. This Wowzer Bowser. This this corn header is just not the best. Let's put it that way. Not the best. I think I think that I'm about a quarter of the way to paint off the uh, the slurry tanker thing. About a quarter of the way. Which means I've got a long way to go. But it's every little dollar helps when you're like stressing for money. And I was, I was honestly stressing for money. I was like, oh my gosh. Am I gonna get enough money to, to actually do the last episode and actually buy everything? And yes, I did. Involved a lot of time with that kid forage harvester and uh, well, at 120 times speed for three hours with no crop. Yeah. That's what I did. I had something I had to do and it was gonna take me, I thought it was only gonna take me like an hour and a half or something, but it took me much longer. I just left the game running 120 times and I was just like, let it roll, let it roll. It's probably why those greenhouses were completely bone dry. Well, it is why those greenhouses are completely bone dry. It's also why the muse station is bone dry as well. The straw is almost done. Like. There's nothing left. Hello, save game. There's nothing, nothing there, you know? I just ignored everything other than the money coming off the windmills. I'm gonna make, I hope, one more purchase before we're done. Two more if I can get away with it. I don't know if I will, but one more for sure. Out you go. Where are you, truck? There you are. That looks, uh, I, I don't like that, that storage facility. I don't like it at all. It is better than the uh, grain storage facility because it's got the built-in um, built conveyor belt so that you don't have to use a scoop to scoop out all of your grain, which I think is a big plus. Go. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, you. That's pretty much how things roll with me when I'm off screen as well. I just like... Oh, stop doing this. Now I'm going to go do this. I'm being better about stopping the vehicles, though, because um, tell you what, I spent so much money on gasoline, diesel, whatever, petrol, because I'd leave equipment running. and completely forget that I left it running. Thankfully, never to the point where I had to go get a container, a, a fuel bowser, but... Yeah, there are a few tense moments of me basically drifting in on fumes to a gas tank. Usually with the one of the tractors. All right, that's all you're going to put in there for now. All right, that's fine. Oop, there, I just about did it. Yes. Okay. There you go. Wow, this is, um, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, harvesting. It's harvest season, it's harvest season. Well, I can make one of my purchases, I think. I think. I don't think I'll make both of them. Kind of sad. It's okay though. We shall persevere and survive. 
Yeah, this is a this farm actually does really well, just generating money on its own using the the windmills. The cows, when they're at 100%, really nice money. Someone did suggest a thousand cows, and I would say a thousand cows at five percent would most certainly make you a pretty hefty chunk of change. They're expensive animals to buy a thousand cows, but still, I don't remember who said that, but there you go. All right, we're almost done. I think we got two more passes. And we'll sell the product we got. Probably make another slurry tanker run, I think. And then we'll see where we are. See where we are. I did say I was going to get all the equipment together. I've changed my mind. I'm not going to do that because I really don't want to go haul all of the uh, tractor pulled equipment out of all the different places to line it all up. I'd rather not. We'll just tab our way around because we can look at all the stuff that way. All right. Hmm. I think we'll probably get like 4,000 if that from this, this run. Fold up there, pal. Those stupid beacons off. Do, 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 do. We are almost done with all the harvesting. Do da, do da. Oh, you take forever. And fold that all up. All right, we're gonna go put him in his garage. Go. Dun dun dun! Nom nom nom! <laughs> Looks like it's got teeth, teeth, teeth of doom. And that's good. There you go. How are you doing? A little bit more money. Good. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Yes. <laughs> That's how it works, right? Nope, nope, nope. Yep. All right. If done a better job of paving. That would have been good. I should have read what it actually told me. I mean, I thought it, they were going to, like, expand the roads or something, but I <sighs> guess not. Okay. 132. All right. I'll just park the truck here. And not you. And not you. And not you. And let's take one more run of slurry. And then we'll be good, I hope. I hope, I hope. <laughs> uh, all right, so... I already mentioned that if you guys want, and you guys let me know, I will package up the save game and send it and uh, put it on the a drive, a Google Drive for you guys to get if you want to play. You'll have to get the mods yourself, but you'll have the game in its current condition or a current condition, uh, a condition of some sort. You guys let me know. If there's enough people that want it, I'll do it. It's got to be more than like one or two of you because I'm not going to do that. I mean, there is some work involved in doing that. So put a comment if you want um, if you want this game, uh, this save game. And I'll put it on an update video somewhere. I'll give you a link on an update video. What's the other thing that, I'm gonna t that I was going to tell you guys? Well... I guess I can go ahead and tell you now. <laughs> There's another link. Can't remember what I called it. I think I called it like the link or something like that. Well, the link, whatever it is called, uh, whatever it's called, that'll take you to a Dropbox. That Dropbox, if the link is still working, 
we'll get you the Colorado map from season two. Yeah, season two. Now, here's the thing. There's bandwidth limits on Dropbox. If you exceed the bandwidth limits and the link gets broken, that's too bad. I'm sad. You're sad. We're all sad. But as long as it's working, there you go. No support offered. I will not support it. I will not help you with anything that's wrong with it. There's no guarantee it even works anymore on this version of uh, Farming Simulator. So there you go. There's all the riders. Um, yeah. That's it. That's the Colorado map. If you, uh, if you play it and you enjoy it, great. If you don't enjoy it, I don't know what to tell you. Um, it is the one without the fences. Those of you that watch my Let's Play know which one that is. Because I don't have the original anymore. I just have the modified. All right, we uh, delivered another load of slurry. Our slurry masters, 134,000. Ah, oh, not exactly what I wanted, but it's close. It's close. All right, let's drive this guy back. We'll make our last purchase. We'll look at all the toys that we got. And we'll wrap up Farming Simulator. All right, we're back here. We're just refilling the tanker. I figured I'd open the bonnet because I haven't done that since since we started playing. It's the awesome, awesome John Deere 7200R. That was a, that was a good purchase. I enjoyed that. The tenor, the uh, Aguas Tenias tanker. Once I got the right tanker, of course, that was that was important. The awesome Cat 980H, which I have found to be the best device ever in the world for dealing with uh, just about every situation you could possibly imagine. The Puma, which was a great, like, cheap, inexpensive way to harvest potatoes. Um, there's uh, one of our cane trailers, our only cane trailer left. We originally had three of them, of course. We have our potato planter out here. We've got our Scania truck. It was a good purchase as well. Yep. Here's our two class Lexions, the 600 with wheels and the 600 with tracks because someone likes tracks. Uh, your name, I literally looked up your name right before I started talking and now it's completely escaped me. It starts with an S. That gummit, I'm sorry. Uh, then we have the uh, Vicon Disco Tiller for all your disco tilling needs. That was a good, that was helpful. Uh, we had somewhere. Ah, the JCB fast track. It was, uh, it was very useful. It was, I think the first major tractor we purchased. And then we have the, the head there and the water tanker. And the other thing that I almost forgot, I don't know how I could forget this because mainly it's parked back here and hidden is the cane, the, the cane, the kid double chop uh, along with the Bergman. This thing, I mean, I'm sorry, but I just have to say it right here and now. That's not a mod spotlight show, but uh, this is like the mod of Farming Simulator 2013 for me. It, it just is. All right, so that's all the toys we bought. We also, oops, wrong spot. I want you. Uh, we also, of course, bought all of the uh, Buyables. We bought 100 cows. We also bought, of course, the Mish station, which is uh, awesome as well. When you can keep it full, it is currently low on nothing. I thought it was low on something. It's probably full is what its problem is. There's the... Uh, oop. Yep, it's full. All right, so we're going to buy one more thing. And it's because I don't, I think I bought one of these once. So I was like, I want to buy another one. I'll buy a solar collector. And we're going to put it somewhere. I don't know where. Maybe like, that's, that's a spot. Um, maybe. Do we want to put it there? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Now, yeah, you know what? Actually, actually, you know what would be? No, that would be a really bad spot. Uh, 
Let's see. Do we want to put it there? Maybe. Nah, let's not put it there. Um, actually, you know what would be a good spot is like right here because you can't actually... No. Change my mind. I want it right there. Boom. Where'd it go? It's over here. Dun, da, dun, da, da, da. There we go. We got ourselves a solar collector as well. Just because I felt like it. Because why not? We are all about green energy here on this farm. All right. Well, this has been Farming Simulator 2013. It has been six seasons of Let's Play. We started out in Kansas. We had this weird dream where we moved to Colorado and everything went terribly wrong. We actually ended up in France where... Ah, uh, we set everything on fire. That was unfortunate. Oh, we went to Appalachia, too. Duh. Ah, <laughs> uh. uh, we started in Kansas, went to Appalachia. Then we had the dream we went to Colorado. Then we went to France. And then we went here. I can't even remember. It's all a big, giant blur. Remember, if you want this saved game file, I will package it up, but I need to know... Uh, if you guys really want it or if you just rather play this map on your own and remember that there's this that link that I've named something That is to the Colorado map from what is actually season three. I said two earlier, but it's actually season three. Huh? There you go um, If it stops working, I'm sorry. It stopped working. That's the way it works All right until Farming Simulator 15 comes out, I've been Dare Debbers. I'll still be doing mod spotlights. Don't worry about that. All right. Until then, happy farming, everybody.